Look at this fluffy caterpillar. It seems that such a fluffy little thing can do no harm, but just one touch and it'll turn into a nightmare. The same goes for unusual bugs that can finish off even a giraffe and bright amphibians with fierce powers. In this episode, I'll tell you about these and other most dangerous creatures you should never touch for your own good. There will be a lot. Let's start. Pus Caterpillar Many people don't mind touching a beautiful caterpillar when they see one in nature. Although many caterpillars do not look very nice, some still boast a beautiful and unusual appearance. For example, pus caterpillars, except that you shouldn't touch them in any case, even if you really want to. These insects are fluffy, but the appearance is deceptive. Under the fluffy cover of the caterpillar are hidden venomous spikes. If a person touches the caterpillar, or worse, takes it in their hands and squeezes it a little, the spines will break and enter the skin, releasing dangerous venom. The person will have a throbbing pain that will spread all over the injured limb and the body as a whole in several minutes. It doesn't end there. Nausea, bone aches, sweating, headache, and other unpleasant symptoms will follow. They last from 12 hours to several days, and in particularly severe cases, it ends in anaphylactic shock and death. It's incredible how dangerous this beautiful bug can be. They say that if you touch a frog, you get warts on your hands. Actually, this is a fiction. But if you touch one particular frog, you'll get symptoms that can be fatal. And this is no longer fiction. I'm talking about the poison dart frogs, a family of amphibians that lives in South America. They look like aliens from the amphibian world, bright, colorful, and beautiful. Many people would like to take them in their hands or at least touch them with their fingers to be sure that these frogs are real. But you should by no means do this, because it's the bright coloring that indicates that the frog is very poisonous. And the brighter it is, the more poisonous the amphibian is. Just so you understand, poison dart frogs are some of the most poisonous creatures on the entire planet as a whole. These creatures are truly creepy, because their poison is not transmitted through a bite or even through saliva. They release their poison directly through the skin, so a person can get very strong poisoning just by touching such a bright frog. According to scientists, only one gram of poison of the golden poison frog, which is considered the most dangerous of the entire family of poison dart frogs, can kill two elephants, 10,000 mice, or 20 people at a time. So it's better to admire these beautiful creatures from a distance and not get close to them. Many people believe that octopuses are not dangerous to humans. They believe that these creatures can only lightly suck on the skin, but nothing more. Hmm. This is not true. Octopuses are quite dangerous creatures, and the blue-ringed octopus is particularly dangerous. This octopus, which lives in tidal waters and on coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, is one of the creepiest marine animals in the entire world. It's extremely venomous. Its venom contains a potent tetradotoxin the same one found in pufferfish, which are used to make the dish called fugu. A venomous bite from a blue-ringed octopus can cause nausea, respiratory failure, heart attack, blindness, and paralysis. If the victim is not given first aid, then death will be inevitable. And the person may not even feel the bite. For example, in 1967, one soldier found a blue-ringed octopus while swimming. He put it on his hand and began to show it to his friends. He hadn't felt the bite, but the venom was already spreading through his body instantly. An hour and a half later, the soldier was gone. The blue-ringed octopus contains enough venom to kill 26 adults in a matter of minutes or hours. In general, this creature with tentacles is definitely not worth playing with. By the way, I forgot to tell you, no antidote for the venom of the blue-ringed octopus has yet been found, nor is there an antidote for the venom of another dangerous creature that looks deceptively beautiful. Stay tuned to learn about this creature, see the beetle that could kill a large giraffe, and learn about the most dangerous Australian animals you should stay away from. Let's move on. Cone Snails Not all seashells lying on the shore are safe. Some of them are really not dangerous and can decorate the shelf in your house if you take them with you. But some can be the cause of death. Cone Snails are among the latter. Yes, as it turns out, cones are not only objects that are put on the roads and not only geometric shapes, 
but also a family of extremely dangerous gastropod mollusks. They look very beautiful. So many people would like to touch them or even take them in their arms. This should not be done under any circumstances. Cone snails are extremely venomous. In addition, they are predatory creatures that sting their victims with a harpoon, and they can sting from both close and far distances. At long range, they shoot a harpoon with such force that it can easily penetrate the skin like a bullet and even break through a strong diving suit. Such a shot is very painful in itself, but apart from that, it is also very dangerous. Cone snail's venom acts very quickly. Death can occur within minutes. Moreover, there is no antidote to cone snail's venom, so treatment can only be symptomatic. Unfortunately, about 30 to 50 percent of cone snail's attacks end in death, and I think these facts are enough to never touch strange shells on the shore and in the sea. In the far regions of our planet, wild tribes still hunt using classic primitive weapons. For example, South African bushmen still use bows and arrows to take down large prey. But they wouldn't have succeeded if it weren't for the Bushman arrow poison beetle. But how can an insect help people hunt animals? The fact is that it's not just any bug but a warehouse of dangerous toxins. Inside the Bushman arrow poison beetle is hidden the strongest poison called diamphotoxin. Since ancient times, the Aborigines have known that if you grind up Bushman arrow poison beetles and mix them with the juice of certain plants, the resulting potion can bring down even a large beast. The poison of the Bushman arrow poison beetle quickly penetrates the victim's bloodstream and reduces hemoglobin productivity by 70 to 80 percent. As a result, the victim's kidneys stop working and the victim stops breathing within a few hours. The poison of these beetles can kill even a large giraffe, let alone a human. So it's better not to touch these bugs. Let the aborigines of the local tribes deal with them. After all, they have long been accustomed to deal with such little monsters. Platypus You have probably all seen a platypus at least once. These Australian creatures look very cute. They seem completely harmless. But did you know they are not? Despite their small size and funny appearance, platypuses are some of Australia's most dangerous animals. This is because of the spurs that are located on the hind legs of these animals. Each spur is connected by a duct to a crural gland which produces a complex cocktail of hundreds of different toxins during the mating season. Males use the spurs during mating season, but sometimes they use the venom for protection. Platypus venom can finish off a dingo or other small animal, but fortunately it is not fatal to humans. Still, there is nothing pleasant about getting such a powerful dose of toxins. The stab of the platypus causes severe pain and swelling develops at the site of the stab, which gradually spreads throughout the body. In some cases, the victim can experience the effects of a platypus attack for several months, and almost no painkillers can relieve the pain. That is the tricky thing about these creatures. Sydney Funnel Web Spider Australia is not only a country of platypuses but also spiders, and the Sydney Funnel Web Spider is another dangerous arthropod from this continent. This spider species lives only in New South Wales. It is found south of Hunter River, east of the Blue Mountains, and around Sydney. By the standards of Australia, the spider is not so big. Its maximum length is only 5 centimeters. Nevertheless, you should not take it in your hands thinking that such a tiny thing will not cause harm. Despite its size, the Sydney Funnel web spider is very dangerous because it is venomous. Under certain conditions, it can attack humans. Between 1907 and 1981, 13 people have fell victim to its bites. Fortunately, an antidote was invented in 1981 and no deaths have been reported since then. Still, if the victim is not treated quickly, the bite can be fatal. And in general, the bite of the spider is very painful and unpleasant. So it is better to stay away from this arthropod as well as from other spiders. I don't think many people would ever want to just touch a jellyfish floating in the sea. After all, everyone knows that they sting unpleasantly. Usually, such a sting is like a contact with a nettle But there are some jellyfish in the world that sting much harder. For example, the Portuguese man-of-war. In fact, a jellyfish with such an unusual name is not a full-fledged jellyfish by nature. Rather, it is a colonial organism made up of many smaller units called zooids which in unity resemble a jellyfish. The Portuguese man-of-war looks very colorful. It is quite bright, 
so the swimmer may want to get close to this creature or may even want to touch it. It's definitely not worth doing this. The tentacles of the Portuguese man of war are very long. When unfurled, they reach 50 meters in length. However, they're visible only partially because for the most part, they're transparent. It's very difficult to notice them, so a swimmer may accidentally get entangled in them. In this case, the Portuguese man of war will sting the swimmer. The pain will be severe, so the person is unlikely to be able to get out of the deadly embrace. There were many people who touched the tentacles of this jellyfish and didn't make it to shore. So it's better to keep a respectful distance from the Portuguese man of war. That's all guys. What other animals should you never touch? Write them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.